Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a genetically transmitted disease. It always is present in males and not in females because female carries XX chromosomes and males carry XY. So once it is on one of the X's, the other X covers it up. So females are usually the carriers of the disease. Now we have before us a patient with the Duchenne muscular dystrophy. They have a typical history. They all are born normal. They keep walking and running till the age of four, five or six. And then suddenly the patients or the parents of the patient complain that the patient while walking fast starts falling down. And then they have a problem of getting up from squatting position. And as they stand up from sitting position, I'll just demonstrate to you, that is called a gower sign when they put their hands on their knees. You can look at him. Niche bajo, niche bajo. All right. Now, when he will stand up, you will watch how he stands up. Khade ho jao. That is it. Ek dafa phir bajo, bajo. Now he will either keep one of his hand on the knee joint or on the ground to take the thrust. This is called Gava sign. Khade ho jao. This is it. And on the knees and that's up. Then the second thing that you would see is that they have a lumbar lardosis. When they stand, they are this part of the body. It is presented, projected outward. And if you look at them, they raise their heel. They walk on the toes. That's it. Now quickly, what is the treatment of these patients? This is, as I said, is a genetically transmitted disease. The patient, by the time he reaches 12 or 13, most of them are on the wheelchair and their life expectancy rate in terms of years is like 15 or 16. As far as their treatment is concerned, rather than what to do, what is more important is what not to do. Number one, lot of doctors go for TA lengthening as they walk with their heel up. They try to operate to bring the heel down. That's a wrong thing that should not be done. These patients should not be given braces. And number three, as far as their special education is concerned, it must be made clear that since keeping in mind their life expectancy, recreational special education should be done rather than sending them and expecting that they should work hard with a lot of books and a lot of that may not be possible in future. So those educational activities which may include audiovisual, which may include playing games, which may include um, sitting on a table and doing some activities, that is what is more appropriate rather than putting them into trouble and putting the parents into trouble and last but not the least we must the parents should do uh, that they should not uh, put up more weight if their weight increases that is going to be uh, bad for the patient similarly they should not do a lot of exercises this is the only condition in which exercises are contraindicated if they are very severe they must be under the supervision of a doctor and then a physiotherapist in case of any query you can always contact us and thank you very much